Hey there guys, it's Silver, your host, and I figure it's time to get a bit more Digimon World done, because progress is progress, and we are doing quite alright for ourselves. Now, <clears throat> we went to Gear Savannah the other day, so what we are going to do is head through the tropical jungle and go to Great Canyon. Because if there's one thing I want to do, my awesome people, it's start the Ogamon Bandit quest line. Because that will bring us one step closer to reaching Factorial Town. And for those of you who know this game quite well, Factorial Town is where you can get most of the decent filth type moves in the game. Which is going to be pretty essential for our Nanimon here. Because, well, I do want something more powerful than Skunk Spray. That, and if I could fight something that knows Megaton Punch, I would um, also appreciate that. Because then I'd be able to swap out Dynamite Kick for Megaton Punch. <clears throat> Sorry about that, dry throat. Okay. Dodge our plant, friends. We're going to get Centaurum on later because it's driving me nuts. After what happened in the last playthrough part, which um, will have been last week for you guys, but for me it will have only been a, a few days ago. Yeah, it's going to be um, very irritating with Centaurum on. Although we do need to get past it in order to reach... Why am I going this way? It's the difficult path. There we go. We will need to get Centaurumon in order to get to Ancient Dino region. So we are going to have to bypass that problem eventually. The plant hasn't spawned yet. But I do have to remember to be free on the 15th to get the rain plant. Oh wait, did I get the prompts for the invisible bridge? Hold on. I probably haven't had the prompt yet. Oh, I have. What? Hey, good. I can walk over this. Indeed you can, Silver. Indeed you can. Right. One minute. Let me adjust my microphone. Ah, these Gotsumons know Megaton Punch. I might fight one. See if I can learn it. I'll beat you up. Will you really? One second while I adjust my mic. Alright, that'll do. I think that's good. Okay, right. Here's hoping we can learn Megaton Punch. I know these Gotsumons have it. Go for it. Are you telling me they're no Buster Dive? You are kidding me. Oh my god. They know Buster Dive. What? What in the world is this? What in the world is this? I must admit that I've been caught off guard. Megaton Punch and Buster Dive? Good lord. I wonder if we'll learn it. I mean, that's the move we want. Can we learn it? Yada. Yarg. Medium, re medium recovery. No. We didn't learn it, but I'll take that. 
Right, you know what we'll do? Can't argue with a medium recovery. That's really good. Now, what we are... We are not going into Monochrome Shop because I am not wasting time like that. We'll fight the Godsumon one more time and see if we can learn Megaton Punch. Because if we can, I'm going to swap out Dynamite Kick for Megaton Punch. That'll be a pretty good move. I'll beat you up. <clears throat> 400 bits every time we fight it. So, do the math on that. That's four small recoveries gained back. I do want that move. I really do. Keep on hitting. And we get a couple of points in stat increases every time we fight him. So that's good. Same wind-up time. Get him. Go on, Nanimon. Please let me learn it. Right. Kick him. Got him. Can we have it now? Yatta. No. But the stat boosts are appreciated. Right. One more try, because then we see, then we can say a third time's a charm. Our boy's hungry, right? Give him the meat. And before any of you are wondering, no, we are not going into Monochrome Shop on our first Nannymon. There's um a lot of progress we need to make here that will be um stifled if we waste time in monochrome shop because it's so RNG based <laughs> and it's not happening. Right, third time's a charm as far as these battles are concerned. We'll have one more little bout with this Gotsum on and see if we can learn Megaton Punch. Right, we've crossed the invisible bridge. We probably need to go back to Euromon as well in order to get the prompt for the Yogamon Bandits. Yeah, that hits really hard. We need it. Keep. Freaking Buster died. What in the world? Keep on hitting. Not not you. Nanimon needs to keep on hitting. Nanimon really needs to keep on hitting. Get him. Alma. 15. What is this? Can we please have the move now, Godsumon? I'd appreciate it. Don't get me wrong, though. I'm appreciating the stat boosts. Um, alright. An hour passes every time you do that. Well, every time you fight. So, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to autopilot back to the city. I'm going to get the Ogamon Bandit prompt. And I'm going to heal our Nanimon by resting at Punimon's house for a bit. That's the plan of action. That is what we will do. <clears throat> right, so. Ever been to Great Canyon? Rumor has it that there are ba- Yes! That the bandits are there. That should be rumor has it that, that there are bandits there? Considering that, you know, He's stating that there are bandits, whereas Euromon is talking to us in a way which implies we know the bandits are there already. Rumor has it that the bandits are there, but, you know, 
How does our character Silver even know that? Are they bad guys? They jump out and rob you. Let's do something about it. Yeah, Alright. I'm down for that. Looks like we got some bandits to fight. Okay. We'll heal up for an hour. Yeah, rest up. We will go back and attempt Centaurumon at some point. <clears throat> He's a good prosperity boost. Yeah, needs to go to the toilet. Excellent. I can't believe we've actually made this run viable. I can't believe that, you know, four parts in now, this is actually something that's doable. <clears throat> I am surprised. Right. Okay. My god, our stats are nearly near the 200s. <clears throat> we'll get some more healing items and then it's bandit time. This is going to be a battle heavy playthrough part, I can assure you. Because as soon as we've gotten the first Ogremon bandit fight done, we're going to immediately go to their base and get the second one. So, yeah. That should keep us busy, I do reckon. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to... Right. So, yeah. Excellent. We'll buy five of those. And we'll get a few more of our MP floppies. Or a couple more. <laughs> Good thing is about good thing is with Ogamon. His attacks harm his allies. So I don't think we need to worry too much about the Agumon he have he, he have with him. I just criticized Euromon for pronunciation and grammar and immediately did the same thing. Silver, you shameful individual. <clears throat> oh sorry guys. If I sound like I'm a bit well I have a bit of a sore throat. I don't, it's just that I've only recently woke up. This is an early morning recording session. So I'm uh, probably still a bit groggy, considering that we spent four hours last night streaming Doom. Hmm. Okay. Right. I mean, you know what we'll do since we have a medium recovery? I will have one more try at getting Centaurum on as well. One more try. Because he'll be a good prosperity boost. That and we need to fight the Greymon that comes. The one that starts the battle arena. While we... Sorry. Need to adjust the headset again. It's falling off my head. There we go. Excellent. Better. Right. I need to fight the Greymon that pops up while we still have a fairly strong Nannymon. Because if this one dies, as per the rules of the run, we'll have to retrain it. And I don't want to do that. Well, we're going to have to do that. But this one's got good stats from all the additional, you know, dirt digging and Digimon fighting we've done. So I don't want to risk him. Right. Okay. We'll... We'll go right. No. This guy really doesn't want us getting in here, does he? Use the medium recovery. Okay. We'll use the medium recovery we just picked up. Hi. 
Okay. We got it. Yes. We have the annoying centaur. For those of you who watched the playthrough or the previous playthrough, hey look, it's Centaur Mike. Hi, Centaur Mike. It's amazing that you made it through the forest. I'm Centaurumon. I'm sorry for what I did. Yeah, you made us use a ton of recoveries in the last playthrough part. I didn't test you for fun. I want to work with you. Go on, I'll stay in the city and wait for you. Excellent. Okay, Mike, I think we're getting pretty famous. Let's keep it up. What we will do, though, is... Hmm... Should we fight the sen... Yes. We have the space to pick it up. Well, yeah, we'll do the ancient dino region later. This playthrough part will focus on the Ogamon bandits. A mighty forest. Oh, wow. I just made a connection. Ace, if you're watching this playthrough part right now, my friend. Um, When you called one of the... When you called the protagonist in one of your stories that you've been writing, you gave him the surname Amida. Was that taken from Amida Forest in Digimon World by any chance? Or did you just pick Amida as his surname? Oh god, no. Oh no, we're not fighting you. You're annoying. D-pad dodging is problematic. God, I hate the word problematic. It's um become such a Twitter buzzword and it's really annoying. Everybody on Twitter finds things not troublesome, not bothersome, but problematic. The most irritating Twitter buzzword of them all. Goodness me. Mangrove region. Okay. To be fair as well, guys, I'm probably going to... Right, Nanimon needs feeding again. I'm probably going to record two parts of this in one day. Because I'm in a really good Digimon mood right now. Serious Digimon kick going on. Right. Okay. Let's avoid that Madoki Betamon. And then it's bandit time. Okay. Forget about those Vegemon. We don't need them. Although I am still hoping to learn Megaton Punch from the Gotsumon at Great Canyon at some point. Right. I know the Gaburimon learn it as well. And I think they're here day and night. Or do they... No, I think they swap to Gotsumon at night. I think the Gaburimon here switch to Gotsumon at night. And then the Gotsumon at the top of Great Canyon there switches to... You know what we'll do? No, 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 no. We better go fight the Ogmon bandits. I think the Gotsumon swap to... Ah, Weedmon hiss. Nobody likes Weedmon. The Gotsumon then swap to that variant of Garurumon, which is extremely powerful. Okay, let's do this. I heard the bandits... Oh, sorry. I heard the bandits. I read wrong. Oh, I read ahead too quickly. I just read, I heard, and then read the word bandits. Okay, I heard this road is where the bandits attack. Let's go, Mike. Alrighty. Good stuff. That took a minute to load. It usually doesn't pause like that. Yoo-hoo. Ha-ha. <laughs> Yahoo. Excellent. Give up and leave your stuff or else... No. You give up. What? You. It can't be. Boss, what'll we do? Don't worry. We're stronger and there's more of us. Go get them. Right, this is going to be a test. 
Nanimon versus the Ogamon Bandits. See what I mean? They hit each other with their moves. Ogamon has Tremor. Oh wow, that's rare. We actually we actually use skunks for it. That is rare. That tremor's gonna take out the other Argumon, no problem. Oh god, Magma Bomb. Can't take too many of those. Yeah, Tremor's just doing the Argumon in. Get him. One down. Oh my god, that hurt. That's it. Take out your own allies, make my life easier. Oh no. Oh dear. Right. Keep healing. Keep attacking. Now that there's just him, we're gonna we might be able to make this easier. We can weather 200 damage hits. That's not a problem. Tremor has a large wind-up as well, which is fine. That works in our favor. Although we can't keep taking too many of those. It's going to do us in. Go on, Nanimon, hit him. I need you to hit him. Cooperate, please. I really need you to do this. Stop taking so long. I swear if we lose this. God, he's just standing there, the fool. Get in there. Yeah, right. Hit him for as much damage as we can. The dump of Nanimon is not very powerful at all. I really need you to do this. We we are going to be pushing it if we're not careful. Get him. Okay, we're not going to take another one of those. We might lose. We might actually lose. Oh god. This is not... This is not what I intended. We didn't bring enough. I should have brought like another 10 small recoveries. He just stands there and takes hits. Oh no. This is not good. Yeah, we're gonna lose if this carries on. Oh dear. You can't dodge that either, it tracks. Wow, we blocked that. Oh my god, you fool, get it together. No. Well, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. Oh no, I've n I haven't lost against the Ogamon Bandits in years. Probably since I was a kid. That's it, we're out. Nope, we're out. We lost. Oh, Nanimon, you idiots. Oh, this is not good. This is really not good. I was not expecting to lose there. 
Usually if I've got... I really overestimated our Digimon's capabilities. Usually... By this point in the game, I have like a Centaurumon. Right. Oh god, all of our meat's gone. Right. The good thing is, because his freaking happiness and discipline are so high, he didn't lose anything. So what we're gonna have to do... Ugh, that was aggravating. Well, there you have it. Nanimon is not infallible by any means. Right. We're gonna have to sell all the giant... Have we lost all the giant meat we had as well? We have. They took the giant meat and, uh... They took all of our meat. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie me. We're clearly not ready for Ogre Fortress yet, then. Clearly not ready. Right. What we're going to have to do... We're going to have to buy back all of our recoveries. And because we lost as well... I believe that takes like half a day's lifespan off your Digimon. Which is now going to shorten our ability to... Get things done. Right. Sell the giant meats... Okay. Buy those. Everything's gonna have to go on there. Uh, well, yeah, meats now. <laughs> right. We're gonna have to do a bit more training. Clearly, we're not ready yet. We are obviously not ready. Probably just by virtue of our moves not doing enough damage either. Like, oh wow, did we not do enough damage. Problem is, we've we've trained our Nanimon well, but um, we don't have moves that do a great deal of damage. Whereas, like, say for example at this point, I usually have a Centaurumon, right? Solar Ray is an extremely powerful finisher. That, and by this point... Centaurumon can have learned all kinds of interesting moves. Well, it can have learned it can have learned Spitfire, Magma Bomb. I don't know if it can learn Dynamite Kick. But yeah, to be fair, a Centaurumon with Heat Laser or with with Magma Bomb and Spitfire with similar sort of stats to Nanimon is usually enough. Sorry, I thought we had to heal there and we don't. That's really thrown me out. Big time. Big time. Yeah, we can definitely class this as an unexpected defeat. We were getting a bit bold there. <clears throat> we will do some training. We'll uh, withdraw from that confrontation and do a bit of training. Um, in fact... Hmm. Yeah. We'll put some stats onto Brains and also up his health and MP a bit more. That's the plan. Because, yeah. We were just given the shaft. Teach this boy the importance of diligence. Right, we'll use the portable potty to save time. Good. Okay, he's hungry. Give him some meat. Right. Okay. One more should do it. Now we have a food shot. Well, we might run short on food if we're not careful because all our bits are gone. I 
I must admit, I don't enjoy the fact that he takes so long to drain. Is he not getting tired yet? I am stunned. Right, we'll put one more into brains then. Yeah, that's where we'll leave it. Okay, sleep. And we'll just keep on keeping on, I guess. Right. Sleep. And... Alright. Okay. I mean, for the Digimon we have, our stats are reasonable. We can't take that away. We'll spend a couple of hours on this, and then a couple of hours on MP. Yeah, about four hours should do it. Then we're going to have to sell a lot of that giant meat to get more meats, and then MP floppies. Right. Eat that. Good lad. One more for the road? Yes, he wants one more. Excellent. So, toilet break. Then we take a rest at Centaur Clinic. Put, well, put two more into MP. And then we take a break at Centaur Clinic. Yeah, we are definitely, without a doubt, going to need to put more focus. Well, what we will do is fight those. We will fight that Gotsumon again. Because if I can learn Megaton Punch. Right. Okay, plan of action. What I decided, we're going to get a bit more health and defense as well. So we'll get our defensive stat up to 200. And um, we'll get our MP up a tiny bit more. Then we'll go fight the Gotsumon until we can, you know, try to learn Megaton Punch. And then we'll go back into that fight with Megaton Punch because it hits significantly harder. Right, so sell these meats. Because the regular meats are far more cost effective. Like, way more cost effective. <laughs> that and we now are on a budget again after losing and having to then buy more floppies all right that'll do we get a hmm yeah get a small recovery and another portable potty Okay. Well, when I um, said this was going to be a challenge, I wasn't exaggerating, guys. Alright. I was not exaggerating. Hmm. Right. Okay. We can do this. more on defense. Well, defense and health. Yeah, that's the plan. I mean, really, we... If we want to be able to negate the... Is it... I don't know. That, yeah, if, if we want to negate the 25% reduction Nanimon gets to training, we're going to have to get Seedramon. And then go to Beetle Land, and yeah. We'll leave that for now, because we're on a timer. And we do have to get back to Great Canyon, because I want to fight that Gotsumon a few more times. To try and learn Megaton Punch. Right. 
So, yeah, as I was saying, they... To negate the 25%, you know, decrease in stats that Nanimon gets every time he trains, or the 25% stat reduction he gets through training, his stats don't reduce, but he gets 25% less. We'd have to get Seedramon. Catch Seedramon, yes. Catch Seedramon at Dragon Eye Lake. Go to Beetle Land. Get both Kawagamon and Kabuterimon. And then instead of getting boosted training, Nanimon would get the equivalent of the regular training that the other Digimon get. Because having both of, them, both of them in the city would negate the 25%, you know, debuff he gets. God, the fact that I've got this game partway to a science. I think that, I've, I honestly think there are only a handful of us on YouTube that have even, you know, have even considered doing that. I know for a fact that one of the biggest YouTubers that covered this, Picaspery, I like his channel as well, I'm sub to Picaspery Blue. If you like Digimon content, go sub to Picaspery Blue. Really, really good channel. Digimon World Players Rules are fun. A bit painful to watch though, because he ri Why am I going this way? I'm going the wrong way. He really struggled with um, trying to get the mechanics down. Now, I have the mechanics down, but I, um... Yeah, I was stupid enough to set myself a challenge run. That should speak for itself. Right. We should be able to get a couple of fights out this Gotsumon. Mangrove region. Yes, I know you're there, Madoki Betamon. I'm not forgetting about you. I mean... If you look, we have pretty decent stats. It's not that we have bad stats. I mean, for the Digimon we have... We've got fairly good stats. I've managed to make something passable out of a bad situation. But sadly, I just don't think it's doing enough. Now, do not get me wrong. I am not going to attempt... This has made something abundantly clear to me as well. The massive hurdle that will hinge on making this run a success is getting to Factorial Town and getting better filth moves. And to do that, we are going to have to get Waymon, which enables getting to the third Ogamon Bandit fight. There is no way we are winning that third fight in our current condition. It's just not happening. And I am not foolish enough to believe that it could. Not in our current state. Right. Come here. These guys drop medium recoveries, which is good. Everything's going to take so much longer to do in this run, and I expected that, but I wasn't expecting to lose against the Ogamon Bandits. Okay, that... That defense buff helped. Usually Megaton Punch does 380 to us. Doing those two training sessions dropped it to 350. Yeah. Okay. Keep hitting him. Keep going, Nanimon. I need you to do this. Don't stand there. You've let the guy pull off Buster Dive there. That's on you. Keep hitting him. We're gonna have to keep coming. We're gonna have to keep coming back here until you have Megaton Punch, and I'm gonna have to keep doing it. We're gonna need it to beat Ogamon. Stops. Dude, just keeps standing there. It's unreal. Why does he do that? Does it have anything to do with his speed stat? Is he too slow? Now, don't get me wrong, like I said, I just mentioned that I know this game to a science, but that doesn't mean that I know how each stat necessarily affects the Digimon directly. Well, speed, no. 
Oh, for God's sake. We need Megaton Punch, and we need it now. We're hemorrhaging small recoveries. Good, we managed to block that. Yatta. Yes. Perfect. Alright. That's good. That is that is good, guys. No, no, no. That is good. We're back in the game. So, plan of action. We're going to go replenish the small recoveries we lost. We're going to get back to the city. We're going to complete this day's training. Put a few more into Nanimon's stats. Really pump him up as much as we can. Get a bit more MP as well, because Megaton Punch, as you'll soon see, is a costly move. 186 compared to 99. But the damage is uh, significantly better. Right. Skunk Spray and Megaton Punch. Uh, horizontal Kick. We're never using you again. Right. Back to the city. So our big goal here, our big brain play, is going to be, as I just said there, we're definitely going to need a lot more MP now that we have Megaton Punch, because costly move, that's non-negotiable. Absolutely non-negotiable. A bit more into MP and a bit more into attack, because that'll make our Megaton Punch more powerful. Which will mean that we won't have to spend as much MP hitting things consistently to win. God, everything takes a while. Uh, just to save time, have the portable party. Good. Well, I did say you were getting a challenge run, and I stick by that. Okay. One more on to attack. We need it, we need it, we need like a training montage thing to happen here. We really do. Oh no. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try and uh We're gonna wait for midnight to take over. We're gonna push our Digimon's boundaries a bit. Push it to the limit as Scarface once said. We're going to... God, Nanimon's 10 and we've barely gotten started. Right. Okay. What we're going to do... One more on attack. Good. Then we're going to... Rest at Centaurumon's clinic for a minute. We're going to wait until midnight so we can get the giant meats then we're going to try and defeat Ogamon one more time and we'll end the playthrough part there big risk and I'm aware it's a big risk but like I said this run was never going to be easy I stand by that wholeheartedly this was never going to be an easy thing to try and pull off and I'm, I'm not so foolish or egotistical as to think it would have been. <clears throat> so. There might also be a bit of editing in this as well. Just to kind of, you know. Yep, you've opened your clinic. Yep, rest him. Good. Then we get the giant meats. Sell them. Go to Great Canyon. Fight Ogamon and end this part. In that order specifically. My god. If we're losing to Ogamon, 
what are we going to do against things like Bergeron? We'll get our butts kicked. Like, I'm not even been dramatic either. Prominence beam? That used to do something ridiculous like 700 damage to my Centaurumon. And for those of you who are sat there thinking to yourself, Sylvia, you're making care mistakes. Trust me, I know that. I'm well aware of the care mistakes I'm making. They are necessary. We're not going to get a Digitamomon anyway. Because it has the highest stat requirements in the game. And you have to do it without making a single care mistake. So we're not getting a Digitamomon. And if we did, it would void the run. So care mistakes. Stretching the limits of what you can pull off in terms of care mistakes. Is going to be something we're going to need to do in this run. So it's non-negotiable. Right. We'll sell one medicine. Because it'll give us a bit more money. Right, okay. Nice. So we want a lot more of these. Then... Want a couple more meats. Yeah. Talk about push it to the limit, guys. Because that's definitely what we are doing. Okay. Right. This is our last shot. If this fails, then we are stuck. We are stuck. Because I'll be out of money. I'll have lost twice. Our Digimon will be down to one heart. And I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. This is the best I could do with the situation we have. So here's hoping it's enough. How many... How, 23 small recoveries. Here's hoping Nanimon doesn't stand there like a plank of wood this time. The good thing is if he gets sick, which I once pushed the Digimon with no sleep to hit the training requirements to get Piximon in our previous Digimon World playthrough part, or in our previous Digimon World run. I did that off screen though. You didn't see it. But I I pushed him without sleep to hit the stat requirements to get Piximon. It worked. Right. Love the tropical jungle music at night. Have the portable potty, boy. Get in there. Excellent. Right. Now then. You can push them for a significant amount of time before they'll get sick. And if they do get sick, you have... Oh god. I have the medicine in my inventory. And that will work. We might be at the point where we have to sell a chip to make money here. Now I don't want to do that because they're going to be essential to our Digimon being strong when, well, in the future. Because when this one dies, I'm going to put as many of the chips we've gained as I can into him to make him stronger. To also speed up the training. Because I will do our Nanimon's training off camera. Because if I don't, that will take an entire playthrough part. And I'm sure you guys don't just want to watch me. You know. Freaking. You know, training on camera for about an hour. So, yeah. Right, I know, dude, I know you're tired, but we have to do this. I realize the boundaries I'm pushing here. Do not go near them, they will annihilate us. Right. Dodge the Garuru Mons. That, that sound there is the stomp of death. Right. 
back again. Here we go. Uh, this is the road where the bandits attack. Let's go, Mike. We've heard all this before. We don't need it again. We're a bit tougher, and we have a better move now, and more recoveries than last time. Yep. I know the deal. Leave your stuff or else, or else you're going to get ganked. <clears throat> Go. Alright, Nanny Mom. Hit him hard. Hit them hard, boy. I need you to. Okay. Showtime. Thank God that tremor hits us first. We're there. I figured something out. Yes. It's even got a slower wind-up time than freaking dynamite kick. Well, at least it feels like it. It does. Yes. This is far better. I have a feeling. I don't know how all the, the Digimon's various types stack up. But I know that some types are weak against others and vice versa. And... I think that fire might be more effective against fighting Digimon. Keep spamming the floppies. Right. Somebody called one of the game's battle themes the spam floppy theme in its uh, comment section. And I totally agree with that. Right. This is going very differently than the last time. Okay. Good, the Argomon of one of the Argomons is out. Keep spamming the floppies. Right. Okay, we're hitting hard here. This is good. This is really good. Good, take out the other Argumon. That makes our life easier. Yeah. Nanimon's animation for Megaton Punch is really quick. That's good. That's so good. Hit him again. Almost over. Should we try and finish him with the finisher? Nope. Ogremon's not going to give us that luxury. Hit him again. Did you have to use skunk spray? Nice. And it's done. Yeah, duh. Okay. Yes, HP chip dropped. We're going to save that chip. The Argumon are bolting. They're done. I'll get even with you someday. We might even try and take Ogumon Fortress. Look at them go. They won't be back for a while. Nice. Excellent. And this, my awesome people, is where we are going to leave it. These are our closing stats. These are our moves. Skunk Spray and Megaton Punch. We've got a pretty sturdy Nanimon here. We lost. We learned from our mistakes. And we're back on the ball. So yeah, thank you to all you guys who've stopped in. If you want to see more of this crazy little Digimon world run, you know what to do. Slam that like button, leave a comment, support the channel, you know. Either one of those works. You can leave a comment, slam that like button, subscribe if you really want to. Just, you know, keep being awesome and support the channel. And this is where we are going to leave it. So guys... I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, and I will see you again very soon. Take care, guys. <laughs>